Hey YouTubers, so we're finally ready to open the graphics card. Um, I know a lot of you have been probably going, oh I want to see what this looks like. It looks like any other graphics card, it really does. But this is pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and see here, we want to cut the plastic off. So we'll just cut a little strip of it right here. There we go. We don't want to damage the box, you know. Alright, so, like a kid at Christmas again, or birthday party, or whatever requires you to open plastic, or wrapping paper, rather. Alright, we don't need that anymore. Let's get rid of that. And let's see what's inside. Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, well, let's... Definitely packaged well. <laughs> they don't want anybody getting in there. It says, The weapon to own your game. Nice. Alright, let's see what that weapon is. Alright, it's got little arrows on it that say which way is up so that we don't accidentally pull it out and have everything break. Wow, it's even got a... I don't know if you can see that, but it's even got a little emblem right there. It's, it's uh, stamped <laughs> into the... <laughs> It's stamped into the cardboard. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is quality right here. Yeah, that's quality. All right, we'll set that aside. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Nothing. Nothing's in there. It's an empty box. Actually, it feels, it feels like there's something in this one. There's something in this one. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it comes with, oh geez, wow. Oh, okay, well, packing could use a little bit to be desired there for the CDs and stuff, but it's here, it's all here. That's the important thing, all right? All right, so that's all right. So gaming, product series, disc, uh, MSI graphics card, quick user's guide, got all the cables. Okay, yeah, it's got all the cables we need. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Oh, that's it. All right, so that's cool. That's cool. I do like I do like that. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. All right, let's set that aside. All right, let's see what. Whoa! I should have showed you guys first. <laughs> nice, nice. There it is. Oh wow. Let's be extra special careful taking this out. Alright, let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, now it's now it's an empty box. Okay. Alright, it's got serious amounts of cooling. Serious amounts of cooling. So get these out of the way. Alright, because this is the main event, right? Alright, have a little piece of tape on the back here. Let's go ahead and get that. There we go. Alright, nice. Alright, let's see what we got here. Fold that over so it doesn't get it. Look at that. That is something else, isn't it? That is something else. That is nice. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the cooling on this thing. It's insane. The cooling. And it, all the all the ports come with covers. So you're not gonna damage anything until you're ready to actually put it into your system. That is nice. That is really nice. And that's where it's gonna plug in right here. So I'm guessing it'll plug into the tower like so. Okay. So that's how it's going to sit. That's pretty heavy though. I don't know. There's got to be, I wonder if there's a way to mount this. We'll have to look at that and see if there's uh, mounting because that's really heavy. 
and I can see that as putting a serious strain on the motherboard. So we're going to take a look at that too and, and see if there's a, uh, a way to mount this that maybe I'm not seeing because it didn't come with anything at all in terms of hardware. So uh, there we go. So there's the graphics card and we're going to go ahead and see how we can go ahead and mount this thing into the tower. All right, YouTubers, so we're going to go ahead and install this thing, this awesomeness right here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, coverings on here that we don't need. So this one, and just remove that. It's just a nice little sticky label. Okay. Don't need that. Put that off to the side. And we won't be able to plug it in if this is installed. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. It's just a little rubber cover, plastic cover. Okay. The rest of these we'll, we'll leave on there. Um, if I remember correctly, this is how you link uh, graphics cards together. It won't hurt to have those on there. Um, if we notice that it is a problem, we'll go ahead and take them off. But it'll keep it clean, so in case we do want to add an additional card later on. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, then that'll be okay. And then these covers will keep on until we've actually got it uh, installed. That way we don't damage any of the connectors. Okay? Um, and then for power. So let's set that aside. Uh, well, actually... One thing you should notice is just kind of, don't install it, but lay it in there so you know which ones of these brackets to remove. Okay, or blank plates or whatever you want to call them. Okay, and I think that it's going to be these two right here. So we're going to try that and see what that does for us. So let's just remove the little screws here. Okay, there we go. Set those aside because... We'll need those to lock this in place. And then these just slide right out. Okay? They just slide. Now it's going to make a liar out of me. Just slide. There it goes. Slide right out. Okay? So we'll set those aside. And we'll go ahead and get this looked at and see, see if this fits. Okay. So what you want, oh, almost forgot. What you want to do is you want to unlock this, okay, because otherwise it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this in there. All right. And I can't really see on this side. There we go. Bam. Nice. Nice. Right in. Locked right in. And then, like I said, I know this is really heavy and I was looking it up to see if there was any additional way to support this. And nobody's actually mentioned any problems with it. So I'm going to go with it's probably pretty solid. And actually now that I feel it in there, it is pretty solid. I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. All right, so we went ahead and locked in. Obviously the little clamps, they lock, they self-lock once you've got it in far enough. So that's actually it. It's locked in. Now we just need to screw it down. See, see how easy this is. Okay. The screwing it down part is actually not hard either. You just got to be able to see here where the little screw holes are and then you just kind of lift this up a little bit so it'll align okay why are you not aligning Heh. there we go all right like I said we're not gonna put it in uber tight right now just aligning same thing for this one. Okay. Do so we need our trusty Drew Scriver or screwdriver?
Go ahead and throw that on there. Get that tightened down. Now again, don't over torque it, but get it pretty pretty firm because, like I said, this thing's heavy. It's gonna it's gonna vibrate when the fans start going. Maybe uh, I'm guessing on that one. All right, and that is locked. That is firm. That's in there. That's good. Okay, so we are locked in place, and we are we are put we put it exactly where it wants it to go. That is very cool. <laughs> that is very cool. All right, just spin the fans a little bit. I know y'all want to spin the fans. I'm spinning them for you. I'm helping you out there. I'm spinning them for you. See, see, I'm such a good guy. I'll spin the fans for you again. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool, huh? All right. Anyway, enough horseplay. Let's go ahead and get get rolling on what are we going to do next. Okay? Okay, YouTubers. So we've got all this cabling and everything in the back of the tower. And that needs to be routed to all the various parts of the motherboard on the other side. We also need to plug in our uh, liquid cooling, our hard drives, and uh, anything else that needs to be plugged in that we haven't already done. We're going to route all the cables through here and we're going to make everything look nice and neat. They were kind enough to provide um, this twisty tie stuff which I can just go ahead and cut that into little strips that I need and then um, you know we're also going to you know utilize everything we have. I'm not going to focus too much on zip ties for the moment uh, mostly because it's zip ties are very permanent and I don't want to say Yes, that's absolutely where it's going to go, especially because I'm still missing, or sorry, have not yet had delivered a couple of components that I'm looking for. Um, but before I do that, I did want to go ahead and get the optical drive at least installed. So I'm going to do that first, but I wanted you to at least know what the wires were that we were looking at here and why there are some things that I've already kind of moved out of the way so that it's not like a big surprise when you see it and you say, oh no, that's, that's, how did you do that? Where did you go with that? Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and flip this around the other side here. And the way this works is these just kind of pop right out and we're going to go ahead and throw the optical drive in right there. So that shouldn't be a big issue. It's not very hard to do, um, certainly as compared to everything else that we've done so far. So let's go ahead and get that popped in there. Okay, so our optical drive, it's pretty easy to get this in here. Um, all you got to do is I took some of these out so we could have a lot of hand movement or hand, a lot of hand room and then this is just going to slide right in. Now it might be a little tough because it's you know it takes up the whole bay so you might have to kind of wedge it a little bit and there's these little uh, shelves on the inside or lips if you will that are going to uh, hold it in place. Now this this case has a really cool locking feature that you can go ahead and press this and lift up on it and then it slides the rest of the way in and then it locks in place. You heard that click. All right. And then that lets you know that it's locked in place and it'll be easy to remove that later. Okay. All right. But it's not 100% secure. That just means it's locked in place. We want to go ahead and put the screws on the other side. So that's what we're going to do right now. Go ahead and turn this. All right. There we go. So we go ahead and turn that. So now you can go and see that. And there's these little holes in here. And you can't really tell because the wiring is right here. But there's a hole there and then a hole here. And we're going to go ahead and line that up. And then we're going to put our little screws in there. And uh, get that started. Again, make it kind of loose. So that we can make sure we've got the right alignment. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're not going to tighten it down just yet. Alright, let's get these cables moved so we can get that screw in there. There we go. And that's going to go in nicely like so. Alright. Alright, we'll go ahead and tighten that down. Now some people say, oh, it's easier to go ahead and connect the cables first um, and put it, you know, slide it in with the cables hooked in. That's true, it is. Um, 
but I'm going to connect everything at once so that I can get kind of a good idea of where everything gets routed. Okay, there we go. Come on, there you go. And get that screwed in. Sorry, blocking the camera again. Okay, we got that screwed in nice and tight or you know the German torque good and tight no that's a that's a bad mechanic joke <laughs> all right there we go so it's all locked in place and we'll just put these panels back on there and then we'll call that good okay youtubers so what I've done uh, off camera is I've gone ahead and installed all the power cables into the power supply so I have installed the big power cord here into your motherboard and up there um, we've gone ahead and gotten the VGA cables installed into the graphics card and all the other necessary power supply or power cords going from the power supply to the back. And I'll, I'll show you all the cords going into the back and how everything fits together. All right. Um, so, you know, and then I put the fan back in and then I tighten this one back down. Okay. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you the back side. Okay, so the back side, it may look a little messy, but you don't want to tie it down in the bundles because you want everything to be able to lay flat when you put the, the side of the case back on, okay? So that's why this is the way it is. You just make sure that you've got everything in the little ridges and make sure when it, when it goes on, it's going to lay flat. Obviously, right here, it's going to be kind of the, the bulge point, but the good news is I've already tried it out and the case actually uh, will, will not bow out too much from this. Okay, so um, this is a good way to hide your cables uh, if your case allows for it. If not, on the other side, of course. Um, this is where I've plugged in, you know, the hard drives. And, uh, you know, the, the major power cords are going through here. So it, it's not complicated. You just kind of have to insert tab A into slot B kind of instructions. And you just got to figure out from your motherboard with your case uh, what pins will go where as far as, like, maybe the... Um, if you have buttons on top of it um, so that you know where the power button goes in uh, and the LEDs like these fans um, some of the fans have LEDs in them so they uh, they'll light up uh, but you can only do it if you've got the, the proper connections okay so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install uh, this fan I'm gonna go ahead and install this fan right there and I'm going to put that onto the side case and then I'm going to go ahead and button it up and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, there you go, YouTubers. It's all put together. So that's the whole tower. Everything's inside of it. The fan is installed. Everything's installed. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. Don't I sound happy? Yeah, <laughs> you bet I'm happy. All right. All that's left to do with this thing now is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hook in the monitor at some point and uh, install the operating system and all the bells and whistles and software that goes with it. Uh, I'm still waiting on one piece of hardware to go inside so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that right away or if I'm going to wait for that hardware to arrive. Either way I call this build of the CPU or of the tower rather uh, the build of the tower is complete so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching all that and uh, we'll go ahead and get everything else installed later. All right, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.